Hello everyone, I am Teacher Edna and welcome to my science class. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for more updated videos. Our lesson for today is all about vertebrates. Before we go to our lesson, may I ask you this question? What is your favorite animal? And why is it your favorite? Well, I know most of you wants to have a cat or a dog because you can take care of them at home. Am I right? Animals can be found in the environment, in the forest, in the sea, in the grassland, in the ponds, and even in our homes. Animals in our environment can be classified as vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones and have varying body parts used in walking, swimming, climbing, flying, and hopping. They also eat grass, meat, insects, and seeds as their food. Invertebrates are animals without backbone, such as snails, butterflies, starfish, octopus, and animals in the environment can be oviparous. These are animals that are hatched from egg, such as chicken, duck, and snake. Others can be viviparous. These are animals that are born alive with their parents, such as dogs, carabao, and cats. Vertebrates can be grouped into five. The first one are mammals. These are warm-blooded animals that are born alive or viviparous. They have their fur or hair as their body covering and memory gland to feed their young with their milk. These are the examples of mammals, horses, sheep, cats, kangaroos, and zebras. Another group of vertebrates are fish. They are cold-blooded animals covered with scales. They have tails and fins that help them to swim. They are animals hatched from eggs and breathe through their gills. Another group of vertebrates are birds. They are warm-blooded animals hatched from egg or oviparous. They have a pair of limbs for hopping and a pair of wings used in flying. Do you know that there are birds who have wings but can't fly? It is because their body is heavy, just like the ostrich, ducks, and chickens. A beak or a bill is used in getting food as well as for protecting themselves from their enemies. Another group of vertebrates are amphibians. They are cold-blooded animals hatched from egg or of the parus. They spend part of their lives in water and part on land. They have moist and scaleless skin. Some examples of it are salamander, newt, toad, and cecilian. Another group of vertebrates are reptiles. They are called bladded animals, hatched from egg or oviparous. They have dry scaly skin and some have shells. Examples of reptiles are turtles, crocodile, chameleon, gecko, and snake. Did you learn something today from our lesson? Let's see if you really understand well. Let us have a guessing game. Number one, what animals live in water with gills, fins, and scales.
All right, the answer is fish. What animals with backbones cold? Good job! The answer is vertebrates. What animals with wings feathers the cloud to fly? Very good! The answer is birds. What group of vertebrates is a giraffe? Good job! The answer is mammals. What group of vertebrates is a frog? Well done! The answer is amphibians. What group of vertebrates is crocodile? Good work! The answer is reptile. Now let us go to another activity. Identify if it is a vertebrate or invertebrate. Tiger. Is it a vertebrate or invertebrate? Good job! The answer is vertebrate. Jellyfish. Is it a vertebrate or invertebrate? Good job! It is invertebrate. Number three, snail. Is it a vertebrate or invertebrate? It is an invertebrate. Pig. It is a vertebrate. Hippopotamus. It is a vertebrate. How's your score, kids? I hope you did a good job today. Congratulations! Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Miss Edzy, and click the notification bell for more updated videos. Bye, everybody!